In a previous lesson, we looked at the concept of a constant multiplier that helps us to quickly calculate the, the um, compound interest. Now, here we're investing $8,600 for a period of three years at a rate of 4% per annum, and it's compounded yearly. So we're going to actually find out what this is worth and then find out exactly how much we earn in the way of interest. So let's do that. We're going to use the multiplier. So let's first of all calculate the constant multiplier. In this case, the constant multiplier equals 100%, that's the whole the whole of the principal, 8,600, plus 4%. So that's the additional amount that we get in interest, which turns out to be 104%. Now converting this to our multiplier, we take our 104 and divide it by 100, that's converting it into a decimal, the percentage to a decimal, and we get our constant multiplier of 1.04. So we can work it out like this, that the balance at the end, it's always got to be at the end of the year because it's got to accrue interest for the year. The balance at the end of year one will simply be the amount that we had at the beginning, $8,600. And we're going to times it by our multiplier. That means that we're going to have our $8,600 plus the 4% interest. And in this case, it comes out to be $8,944. And we just repeat this. So we could say the balance at the end of year two would be would be what we had here, 8,944. So that's the balance that starts at the beginning of year two, times that by 1.04. So that increases it by the amount of um, interest. And that comes to 9,301 dollars and 76 cents and then we can do it one more time and get our balance at the end of year three and that would be the balance at the start of the year, $9,301.76 times that by our constant multiplier, which is 100% plus 4%, remember, just in decimal form. And that turns out to be $9,673.83. Nine and that's a rounded number to the nearest cent. So we better put here rounded. All right. So if that's the case, then the second part of the question says, calculate the total amount of interest earned. And that's just simply a matter of saying that our total interest or our interest, this is what we wanted to earn simply because we invested the money, the interest, is equal to what we started with, actually the other way around, what we finished with, $9,673.83, because that's the larger amount. And from that, we subtract what we started with, that's the money that we put in, $8,600. And the amount finally earned is $1,073.83. And 83 cents. 
So there's an example of how to fairly quickly work out the compound interest using this concept called the constant multiplier.